Hey everyone, so today we are doing a long-awaited video. In this video, we are going to be doing our whole face of makeup using all makeup off of shophush.com. Now, a couple weeks ago, I did a video where I did an unboxing of a bunch of makeup that I bought off of the Hush website, and all of you guys were like, Mia, why didn't you try anything off Bad Habit? Why didn't you try anything off Face Candy? And I heard you. So I guess you guys really wanted me to try out these two brands in specific. So thanks to Hush, now I have a billion makeup palettes like seriously we got them all like I can't even hold all of the palettes so I quickly just really want to do a little itty bitty haul of all of these makeup palettes just because I kind of want to show them off since I know I'm not gonna be able to use all of them obviously there's like 20 so if you guys don't care to see these new palettes that I got because I'm gonna be showing them off showing the colors for a little while skip to this time if you just want to get into the makeup but for the people who want to stick around and see these palettes let's get started so the first palette and one of the most requested for me to try out was the bad Habit Athena palette and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette so we'll see. So far these two palettes are very similar. They're like the same size, same design. Here is this palette. Here are the colors. They look so so stunning. Let's compare though. They're not exactly placed in the same spots but there are a lot of colors that are really similar. Okay and then there are these Oasis and Paradise highlight kits and these are both from Bad Habit and I'm pretty sure these again are dupe for Huda's highlight palettes. Here is the Oasis one. Oh my goodness and this is a cream. I wasn't sure if that was a cream or not. Wow. I hope you guys can see that. That is so pigmented. Okay and here is the Paradise palette. I'm not gonna swatch all of the eyeshadow palettes just because I think I'm going to do a little bit of a giveaway with some of them in the future. So I'm not gonna swatch this one since I already swatched the other one just in case I end up giving it away. And then there is this Milkshake Matte Eyeshadow Collection by Face Candy. All this packaging is so freaking cute. This has like the cutest names ever. It's Whipped Peanut Butter Root Beer Float Double Fudge. Mm, double Fudge. This has really cool packaging. Is this a dupe for the Fenty palette? because it's all these really chunky glitters. I might be wrong. Actually, this might be a dupe for the Urban Decay. Um, I don't know. Okay, and then this is the Tropics palette, and there's actually two of these. One is Tropics and one is Rainforest, so let's open these. Okay, here is Tropics. Oh my goodness, those are nice shades. They're all really pretty pinky tones. Here is Rainforest. Oh my word, look at this color. I have to swatch this one. It matches my nails. Did you see that? All right, and now there is this Rose Highlight Collection by Bad Habit. Again, we gotta, we gotta try them. Excuse me while I'm actually shook. There is what that eyeshadow palette looks like. Lots of purples. I really like this deep green color. This one has such nice packaging. This is the Artistry Palette. Uh, by Bad Habit again. Most of these are from Bad Habit, if not Face Candy. Okay, this is definitely supposed to be a dupe for some a palette by Anastasia, I believe, because look, that looks almost the same. I just don't know which one. I don't really follow their palettes very well. Okay, now Royals. I definitely heard about this one because it's supposed to, yeah. It's like almost the exact same as Modern Renaissance. Those are very, very similar. Oh my goodness, so stunning. Here is the dupe for the Subculture palette. I don't know what look to do. This one's got really fun packaging. This one kind of looks like a different one I opened. So I'm gonna put this one aside. It'll probably be in a giveaway. This is called Sugar by Face Candy. Adorable packaging, like A+. It's like tin. And here is the layout. Oh my gosh, so pretty. They just feel so soft. What is the deal? There we go. Okay, we're on to the fifth last, so we're reaching the end. Then we'll start our makeup. I'm really overwhelmed with what to do with our makeup, but okay. Oh my goodness, it's velvet. Oh my gosh, the palette. I love that green color. This one is the Unicorn Glow Highlight Collection by Face Candy, and it's hollow. Definitely. A dupe, once again, we know which one this is a dupe for. The Anastasia, so stunning. This packaging is beautiful. There's another one kind of like it. It's called Mermaid Glow. Okay, and here is this one. All right, last two palettes. We have, oh, why? I don't know if I'm gonna, Aura? 
Aurora. I want to say Aurora, but I know that's not right. This packaging is so nice. Hold on a minute. Is this one the dupe for the subculture? Now I'm confused. Wow. Wow. All right, the last palette that I have to try is Solstice from Bad Habit. That was hard to pronounce. That is so nice. It's got all these fiery tones. Bad Habit is not coming to play. They're coming to dominate. I get what you guys were requesting about these two brands. Insane. Okay, so I have a few palettes to give away, so look out for that. Okay, so now that I am overwhelmed with all of this makeup around me, like seriously, it's closing in on me. Let's get into doing our full face using all makeup off of Shop Hush. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing I wanna start off with is this Beauty Creations Primer Oil. It's non-greasy, hydrating oil, vitamin enriched, and I have very dry skin, so the thought of having something to hydrate it sounds pretty good. Obviously, all of this is gonna be first impressions. I've never tried any of this stuff before, so let's see. I don't know how many drops to do, but I'll just... I'll just blend this in. Wow, this is really interesting. It does look a little bit greasy, honestly. Okay, that did make my skin feel really good. It did make it really red, but that'll go away. I want to try the Pocket Bunny Moist Mist by Tony Moly. So I'm going to put that over top. We're going to be so hydrated. Going to bounce that in. If this stuff really does help my skin be like more hydrated, I definitely will work it into my everyday makeup routine. Okay, I am completely shook by the fact that I, throughout all of this makeup, I have no foundation. Okay, so I have no idea why I didn't get a freaking foundation, but okay, that's gonna be the only thing that isn't from Hush. But I'm gonna mix the Revlon Color Stay in Buff and the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect in Creamy Vanilla. And I'm just gonna apply this off camera because nobody cares, so. All right, so here is my foundation blended in. I don't have any around my eyes because that's where I'm gonna put concealer, but oh my goodness, this blended in so much easier than it usually does. I swear I knocked off like two minutes of my time. Like this is a personal best. The two bases, the spray and the oil that I put on really helped my foundation sit better on my skin, which I'm excited about, so okay. Moving on. For concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Porcelain. And this is one of the brands that Hush sells, and it's LA Girl, obviously. But I've never tried this concealer. I've heard a lot about it, so I'm excited. I think it's a good shade. Right now, I'm a little bit fake tanned, so colors match me better than they usually would. I think that this I blended out really nice. Let's do the other one. Okay, so before we set our concealer, I want to do a little bit of contouring. So I'm gonna go into this big circle palette that I showed you guys in my video. It just has a whole bunch of cream contours. So I'm gonna contour my face and my nose. I guess my nose is a part of my face. You know what I mean though. Under the nose. I usually go with a more warm tone just because that's what I have around. But since I have this cool tone, I may as well try it and see what it looks like on my skin. This contour feels very subtle. It's not super, super pigmented, which I'm not super surprised about because when I swatched it in my first video, I thought it was a little bit lighter. I'm actually really surprised with how much I liked this book. Granted, I only used two colors. I really, really liked the ones that I used. When, when I first tried it, I wasn't sure if I was going to love it just because it wasn't really super pigmented. But I think it gave a really pretty natural look. Good job, little book. All right, so now moving on to setting powder. So I have two little setting powders. You guys let me know that this actually was a dupe. I can't now remember off the top of my head for what. I think it was something high-end like Gucci or something like that. Yeah, but and then I have this other pure white one. So I think I'm gonna put the pure white one under my eyes and then these more skin toned ones to sculpt out. I'm gonna tap a little bit into the lid. Oh wow, it's really fine. All right, so in the camera, like when I look into the viewfinder, it looks like I have a lot more powder on than what it looks like in real life. So it might already be flashing back with my ring light. But okay, let's try this Lux Color Correcting Powder Matte Finish. I'm gonna sculpt out the contour. 
a lot of the oiliness I had on my forehead, it looks like it's soaked up, which is nice. But I'm just gonna let that bake on my face while I do my brows. So what do we have for brow products? For brows, I have this Super Slim Brow Stick Brow Perfecting Pencil, and this is cruelty free. I'm a little bit new to using pencils on my eyebrows. I usually would use like a little mousse, but I'm starting to get into pencils, so we'll see how this works kind of difficult when your pencil's not super pointed. Okay, so here are my eyebrows on. I really like the way they turned out. If this brow pencil was decently inexpensive, I think it's worth trying out. It was pretty good and it's cruelty free. I mean, what else is there to say about it? I like it and I think the color looks good. Usually I would go a little bit lighter, but I like the way it looks. I don't mind a bold brow. Okay, we've been baking long enough. Let's take this off and do a flash test. Okay, so there is some flashback under my eyes, not really on my forehead or nose. So I think it is the white that's flashing back, not the quadrant. Quadrant, okay. A few of you guys asked me what flashback was. It's the white cast you get on your skin when you take a flash picture. Okay, so before we get into our eyes, I want to do a little bit of bronzing with this Honolulu powder. Okay, and I'm gonna use a big puffy brush. This is really quite pigmented under my nose. Yeah, this was pretty good. Hopefully it doesn't break me out. Some bronzers for some reason break me out really bad. Okay, but it is now time to start our eye makeup. Now this is really stressful because I don't know which palette to use. Okay, I think I'm gonna use three palettes. I think I'm gonna start off with using mattes from the Milkshake palette, and then we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz with the Athena palette. And then we might top it all off with a little bit of glitter. <laughs> wow, love that. Okay, so starting off, I'm just going to put whipped all under my brow bone and all over my eyelid. Oh my goodness, even that shade has color payoff. Usually those shades I don't even see. Now I'm gonna put butterscotch in the crease. There is a little bit of fallout, but I think the color payoff makes up for the fact that there's fallout. And now with the same fluffy brush, I'm just gonna take peanut butter, which is just a little bit darker. Same place, just gonna put that into my crease. Now we're going into the Athena palette and I'm going to take which one do I want? Probably this more orangey color. And on a little bit smaller of a brush, I need to get new brushes, you guys. All my brushes are breaking. Hi. <laughs> I have had these for five years, but I've just never invested in more brushes. Like I've only ever had this one set. I think it's a lot of fun to change up eyeshadow looks every once in a while because I think you get doing the same makeup every day and then it gets not as fun. Okay, so there is that gradient eyeshadow. I really love this color, it's called Cunning, but I think I wanna go into the Dream State palette and use, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Like, I gotta use this shade. It's called Daze, it's this really pretty glittery yellow shade. And I'm gonna spray this on my eyeshadow brush just so that the eyeshadow really sticks. What was that? Oh my goodness, but it's so pigmented and pretty. It's like, honestly, you'd think that was like a loose glitter. Here is this eyeshadow. The glitter is moving around a little bit, which I'm not It's super in love with, but I just think it looks so pretty. I can't stay mad at it. Okay, this is the Salave Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and it's a felt tip. Okay, so there is that liquid eyeliner. It's a little uneven. I can't. I can't be bothered with making it perfect. Okay, but now we are moving on to mascara. I'm using this Rude Mighty Mascara and Comb. You guys really wanted to see me use this. It's this big wand. This is exciting, see? It looks super weird. And I think you just twist out the mascara. Oh my goodness, I see it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is very odd. It's very chunky. Okay, this one's not gooping as much, but it's not really doing much for my lashes. And it's just really hard to put on. I think maybe I could eventually get used to this, but I just don't want to jeopardize this look because of a mascara. So I'm gonna try this extra volume mascara. It's still kind of weird. It's in a tube. Holy crap, that's a big brush. I can't get this mascara back in. Oh, just kidding. I'm being dramatic. All right. This tube mascara looks better on my lower lashes. We do not have to worry because I have some fake lashes to put on. 
I'm trying to decide which eyelash to do. These Miss Adoro or these Glamour looks or these ones. I think I'm gonna try these Je Miss Adoro. I don't know how to say that. Number 73. All right, let's see. So here's what those eyelashes look like. Once again, they're number 73s. They're really, really fluttery on the outside and super, it's almost like they're dainty, but they still got that wow factor, which I like. Okay, so moving on to highlight and then lips, and then we're done. I'm going to use the Rose Highlight Palette from Bad Habit. This looks so similar to the Anastasia one. Okay, before I do that, I wanna set my face with this Rude Radiant Lasting Makeup Mist, just so the highlight sticks on better. I really doused my skin there. Okay, I'm going to take a mix of these two. You guys ready for this? Oh my goodness. That is so blinding. Okay, so I'm a disco ball. This palette's amazing for highlight. 10 out of 10 suggests this. Look at that. It looks like I just ran a marathon with this. I'm like sweating. Crap! I was gonna use these lashes. Oh, I completely forgot about these. Okay. I might have to do seriously a part two to this video because I have so many more things I want to try. Oh wow, that actually might look good with my eyes. Okay, let's try this. This is in the shade Sunset Chic. Okay, so there are my lips with this color. I do see a bit of the gradient. After I blended it in a little bit, it got faded a little bit. But, okay, last final thing. I want to put on this uh, holographic lip cream. We tested it in the last video. It's not actually hollow, but I think a little lip gloss will help this look, so we'll do it. There we go, that's what that looks like with this lip gloss. Okay, you guys, so here is the full makeup look using all makeup off of shophush.com. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video because I know you guys have been requesting this and I know some of you have been really excited to see it. So I hope it lived up to your expectations. If you guys wanna see a part two of this video, comment down below what you would like to see me use because I'm totally open to doing that. In fact, I really wanna do that. I think this makeup look turned out really pretty. I like the sunset looking eyes and this kind of gradient lip I actually like I never usually wear lip colors like this but I think it looks pretty this blinding highlight I am living for it oh and if you guys are interested in winning any of these makeup palettes make sure to follow my Instagram because I'll be doing little giveaways on there so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye